Hi everybody, we're back. This is Dave Vellante of Wikibon.org and it's my pleasure to be here at theCUBE, SiliconAngle.com's continuous coverage of Oracle Open World live in San Francisco, California. We're in the Moscone Center, we're on the floor, we're in the QLogic booth. We've been here three days, this is our third year at Oracle Open World. We've been talking about the transformation of Oracle uh, from a pure software player to a fully full-line systems company. And one of the areas that they've been focused on is performance. We've talked all week about how Larry Ellison loves speeds and feeds. He's uh, kind of a geek in that regard, but really he's been putting forth how his company, Oracle, has been focusing on improving the performance. He loves to use adjectives like lightning fast and, and so forth. And one of the areas that he's been talking about in great detail is flash. Now earlier this week, we had Ryan Klein on from QLogic talking about their QLogic's Mount Rainier initiative. And so it's my pleasure to welcome back Ryan and we're going to talk a little bit more about that. We're going to show you a demo. So Oracle DBA's out there, you're concerned about performance. So here is a new innovation that QLogic has developed to essentially bring the best of the flash DAS performance together with the convenience of managing SAN. So we're going to talk about that. Ryan, welcome back to theCUBE. Thank you, I appreciate being here. So let, why don't we set it up here. We've been talking all week about, about flash, its importance to the Oracle DBA. Uh, set up uh, Mount Rainier, what that is, and, and why it's important to Oracle customers. Sure, so uh, back in September of this year, uh, we announced a technology called Mount Rainier. And Mount Rainier technology is essentially a series of three different capabilities that allow us to have single server and multi-server shared caching. Um, and we also have the ability to share those data runs externally. So fundamentally we're bringing SSD flash drives into the server themselves and getting all the benefits of SAN. Okay, so you've got a demo of Mount Rainier. You've had that in your booth all week. There's been a bunch of traffic coming yeah. by. Um, so take us through uh, what, you, what you can with the demo. Sure, so essentially what we wanted to be able to do is be able to take a technology that allows us to bring flash SSD drives inside of the server, share them on the SAN, but more importantly, have them apply to a real world application. So essentially what we're doing is we're now having the ability to support clustered applications. And Oracle Rack is, is clearly one of the most popular clustered applications out there. So what the demo and what we'll show you here on the slide is, is we have the ability to introduce SSD caching called this Mount Rainier technology inside of an Oracle Rack deployment. So let's go ahead and bring up the slide and what, we'll, what this will share with everybody is, is the topology that we're looking at. So essentially what you see is a two node Oracle Rack configuration. Each of those servers has a Mount Rainier adapter inside of it and there is a cluster of cache shared amongst those two Mount Rainier servers. Now, the important thing here is this, this cache is shared, but it's also transparent to the server. What that means, it allows us to speed up read uh, activity to the database, which is then hosted on the pillar Axiom array. Now, why this becomes a very compelling situation is it allows us to speed up read uh, activity quite a bit, and we'll show that here in a second, but it also allows us to be able to leverage a pretty powerful infrastructure. So these, these pillar boxes, these, these are 15K drives, uh, really fast drives. We have 198 gigs of memory in these servers. So fundamentally, we're, we have a really powerful environment that we're actually leveraging with this Mount Rainier technology. The, the choice of pillar architecture was, uh, is interesting. Of course, pillar data, a company funded by Larry Ellison, acquired by Oracle yeah. uh, recently. Well, we're, we're here at Oracle World, and hey. we want to build a configuration that's relevant to most of the attendees. When in Rome. Yep. <laughs> All right, good. So. Um, you got a couple other slides to show before we go into the demo? Yeah, so let's go over to look, look, look at the demo itself. So what we're going to show you here is us streaming live from the Broomfield Labs. And what we have done is we, um, we're working very closely with the Oracle teams out in Broomfield. And essentially we've brought up a rack environment in their environment. And what this has allowed us to do is partner with Oracle to get their expertise on rack configuration as well as the QLogic expertise on shared caching. And in the demo, what we do is we focus on uh, response time as well as um, the latencies associated with I.O. And, and fundamentally the transaction time. And what customers are seeing is that when you integrate a cache pool into an Oracle Rack environment, you're reducing the response time. So that allows us to drive more transactions in the environment at, at the same time. And really what this fundamentally comes down to is the ability 
when you drive more transactions to conduct more business. Yeah, so talk a little bit more about the impact to the user. Well, you say conduct more business, but what have customers been, been telling you? How are they going to use this, and what is going to be the bottom line impact of their business? So everybody is trying to squeak out more performance in their environments, and when you have situations like this, DBAs like to tune their environments to drive as many transactions as they possibly can. Um, at that point, what we do is we introduce this Mount Rainier technology and it allows us to get more transactions in the environment. Okay, good. So um, I think we got the demo uh, ready, so let's bring that up if we could. So, so, um, so demos are never supposed to work right the first time. <laughs> Just ask Bill Gates. <laughs> right, so the screen that you're seeing now is actually a, a tool called Swingbench. Uh, this is actually an Oracle tool that they use. And what we're, we're simulating is a thousand uh, person environment and you see a number of graphs moving here, and what we're simulating is a very read-intensive application. Uh, processing orders, browsing orders, looking at warehouse queries, and the two things that, that we look at here, as I mentioned before, is disk I.O. and then overall response time. And disk I.O., when you see a comparison of before and after, has dramatically reduced. And essentially what that allows us to do is more with that storage. So we can now apply more server connectivity to that storage, do more with that server, that storage, allowing the data that's being read to be put into that cache pool. And when you move that data into the cache pool, what you're doing is you're reducing response time to the end customer or the person driving the transaction. So you see more transactions occurring at a faster response time. Um, and if we switch back over to the last slide that we wanted to share, it's important to do a comparison. You know, what did I have before and what do I get after Mount Rainier? And, and what you'll see in the slide here is, is that we ran a baseline configuration where we ran with a standard fiber channel infrastructure. We, we didn't have Mount Rainier running. And, and what you'll see in the same thousand uh, concurrent user configuration on this slide is, is that the response time is increased by 82%. So we're basically getting a 5x performance benefit for peak transactions. Now if we look at an average transactions, we're seeing a 57% increase uh, using this cash pool. Now the really important thing here is that the difference in configuration before and after is physically just changing out an adapter. Yeah, so I wanted to ask you, I mean, a lot of customers are going to be concerned about the changes that they have to make to their infrastructure. Sure. You're saying that you can just drop this into your existing infrastructure, no changes, no fundamental architectural changes. That's the key behind this technology and why it's going to be successful. And fundamentally, what we've done is we've used the QLogic driver architecture that is qualified for 10 plus years, uh, a management infrastructure that's well known by most IT administrators, and, and have the same look and feel and architecture that they architect the standard HPA. So literally the configuration that you saw running here allowed us to install a standard fiber channel adapter, get a baseline performance run, physically remove that adapter, bring in a Mount Rainier, and, and rerun the technology without having to recable, rewire, change architectures, and get this 5x performance increase. So 5x performance increase, no disruption to my existing environment. Uh, now, uh, cost obviously is the, the one drawback. You got to pay up because it's, oh, it's absolutely. Right, so it's going to be flash, so it's going to be more expensive. But right. to simulate this type of performance without flash, to get five <laughs> x performance, you'd need so many spindles. It would just be absurd. A absolutely. So we're dealing with the cost of SSD. But the beautiful, beautiful thing from an IT environment is the same tool set that customers use today to manage the adapters mm -hmm. will manage the Mount Rainier products. So it doesn't mean you put Mount Rainier in every server but you put it in the ones that are application intensive and still need to be able to be an enterprise environment. Because what this allows us to do is multi-path, create failover scenarios, and fundamentally support clustered applications, which is something others can't do with caching today on the server. Okay, so this is unique in the marketplace. This is unique to QLogic. And, and, and you're going to be shipping when? So we're, we're going to start shipping this product early next year, and, and we're moving into beta right now with customers. So folks that are interested in, in getting their hands on this technology, uh, solutionslab at QLogic.com gets them access to this technology is in a beta phase. Excellent. All right, Ryan, thanks very much for coming back in theCUBE, sharing with us this great demo. Uh, check it out, and uh, we'll be right back with more from Oracle Open World Live. This is theCUBE.